The easiest way to pick up a bat is to make a V with your thumb and your forefinger, nice and simple. Put your hand on the thumb like that, bend down, and you place the V in line with the top of the bat. So the two hands sit like that, you pick it up, and you take your stance. That's quite simple. Now the important thing for a neutral grip, so that you can play all around the, around the wicket, is that your V's run down the back of the bat. And I'm going to show you what happens now when you don't hold the bat like that. So that's, that's the neutral grip. The only other advice that we can give um, young, young cricketers and, and parents at home is to just loosen that bottom hand. If I do it like that, the bottom hand should not be like this. We tell our, we tell our young cricketers, don't strangle the, the baby chicken. So they need to hold it gently. It's basically those two fingers and your thumb that apply pressure to the bat. And that gives the bat movement and leverage. If you squeeze it like this, it forces the bat into, into the wrong swing path. And I'll show you now. So, so moving back there, some of the, the common mistakes that you'll see with young batsmen, especially when they've got a bat that's too big for them and it's too heavy, is that they end up holding the bat with their hands apart. And this bottom hand ends up with a V on the inside of the bat. Now what that does, you can see immediately how my, my bat face is now twisted. It's not in that slightly open face uh, position which, is, which comes from a neutral, neutral grip, but it moves into that position. So, so that, that causes, when you swing the bat, the bat swings back and it actually closes on, on impact. And if you can think of a player like Graham Smith, that's exactly what his, his bat used to do. Alright, so, so what, you, what you'd like to do and what you need to do is make sure that those V's are on the, on the top of the bat or actually just on the outside there. Um, the other problem that some, some youngsters do is they hold the bat with a weak top hand. And you, now you see what it's done to my bat, bat face. It's actually twisted it too open. So that ends up when they're hitting the ball, they hit the ball with a face that's still open and the ball spews off to the offside. So the easiest way to fix that is when you're throwing, just make sure that they um, put the bat on the ground, they pick it up correctly and that their V's are down the back of the bat. 